For our next segment, typically we would have a dynamic speaker. This morning you get me. <laughs> Just for a minute. Actually, you guys are going to be doing a lot of work. So, yeah, David's a good business coach. We need lots of coaching on it. Does anybody know what a power team is? Have you all worked with a power team or have an idea what a power team is? Who doesn't know what a power team is? Anybody not know? Robert J. We're going to educate you. We're going to educate you this morning. Power teams are working with networking in a way to maximize your return. It's meeting with people of like um, community, likeness in business to get more of a job done. We have kind of an amazing power team in here that deals with um, the communications uh, network already. We've already heard about referrals being passed from uh, Matt Hutter and Daryl and people with Bob Graff working to basically work on getting bigger projects done. Uh, so we want to maximize that because when you share the wealth, it comes back to you. And if you know people that have passed referrals to you, sometimes it can lead to multiple referrals within a category of like-minded professionals. So we want to try to maximize that because when business gets done, when more gets passed and you keep sharing, it, it makes the whole world turn. So it makes more business come back to you. Um, that is a power team. So on the, um, on the sheet we circulated this week, Denise should have emailed you this flyer. It kind of delineates some power teams that can exist. They're not all of them, but they are some. <coughs> Financial is one, business solutions, health, wellness, marketing and events, and real estate. Those are five large ones that BNI recognizes, and that's the one, these are the ones that we're going to start with today, but they could be anything. You have to figure out where your business comes from and who you naturally work with. And sometimes when it's written on a sheet, it may not fit to your model. You may network with someone that's not even on here, and it may not fit your typical power team, but you may have your own. But this morning, we're going to join and, and try to figure out where we can maximize our, best, our business, our best business, and figure these categories out. We have seats that we can fill here. Um, it's been shown that when chapters grow, business grows exponentially. And I used to know the numbers. It was a couple of years ago I heard this, but they, they said when chapters grow over 40 and get towards the 50 member mark, that referrals grow from generally the 40 to 50 range per week up towards 70 to 80, depending on you add 10 members and sometimes things grow 30 or um, 30 referrals per week more than just having say 30 or 40 members. It just it escalates pretty rapidly. So there are seats that we need, but we're gonna leave it up to you guys to let us know who you want. The dynamic membership drive has done this in the past. We want to figure this out a little bit more because you know who you work with effectively and who you want in here. Um, so we want to meet and break this down into teams. And once we do that, take, you know, say about six or seven minutes to discuss, discuss this, write it down, pick out two or three categories that you want, and then go after these folks. And effectively begin to invite them. And if you know them, we want to call them. Pete Tibaldi was a, a big proponent of this. He would have us call people when you're in the meeting. If you have identified people that you know, report back to us at the end of this little segment and maybe step out and call them if you can. Invite them. Inviting is a big thing. When they're here, your visitors are made to feel welcome. We want them here participating. Let them grow their business too. So let's break up for a few minutes. According to these, pick your areas and, and we'll move on. Yeah, Wes. I just want to remind everybody that I say this every once in a while, like I said last week, that um, a seat in here is worth $30,000 a year on average. So it should be easy to market to people. Some seats are worth more, obviously, but, and that's based on last year's numbers and this year's goals are higher. So just remember, thirty grand a year, if they want to add to their business, should be easy to do. Bob Willis was telling us at the end of the meeting, we always get graded and grilled at the end of the presentation um, each week when he's here leadership team gets scored and we, we learn where we can improve. He said, I didn't know this, but he said that over the last calendar year, I'm sorry, over the last six months, was it? Six months, the group has passed $700,000 in closed business. And he said, there are very few chapters in Northeast Ohio that do that. There are, he called it the million dollar club. There are like, he said, four or five chapters that do this or have done this over the last several years. We've been fortunate to do it three years in a row. So we're on the goal to uh, right now to be at 1.4, which we've never done. So that's all a testimony to what you guys have done. So the more we work at this, the bigger the numbers get, and we're in kind of an elite class. It's very few chapters that pass over a million. We've done it um, consistently the last couple of years, so awesome. 
So let's break up in the in our cruise. We'll have um, it looks like uh, the real estate and the financials, maybe some of the larger ones, marketing. We're gonna see who fits where, but let's let's have financial in the back, uh, real estate in the back to my left, health and wellness up here front, um, business solutions over here to the right, and marketing up in the front.